Hi, this is Nick O'Leary from the Node Red Project, here with the release notes for the 0.19 release. As Node.js 4 reached its end of life in April this year, we're announcing this will be our last Node Red release that supports anything earlier than Node 8, the current LTS release. If you're running anything earlier than Node 8, we strongly recommend you upgrade. This release brings the next step in our roadmap to 1.0, introducing the Persistent Context feature. Context is a feature we've had for a while in Node-RED that allows you to store state in your flow outside of the messages that pass through it. One of the downsides with this state is it was only held in memory, so when Node-RED restarted, you would lose its current contents. With the Persistent Context feature, you'll be able to store context data outside of the Node-RED runtime. We're providing two implementations of context stores, a memory-only store, which behaves just as it does today, or a local file system store, so your context data will get stored on disk. And we're publishing the API for context stores, so that anyone can implement their own store for whatever storage system they want. And we've also added the ability to configure multiple context stores, so you may choose to have some context data stored in memory and some persisted to disk. This also provides better scalability in cloud environments, where you want to run multiple instances of Node-RED sharing the same context. As part of this work on context, we've also introduced a new built-in sidebar panel that lets you browse the contents of context. This was inspired by a Contrib plugin that's been around for some time, but we've written it from scratch to handle the new APIs that context exposes, as well as the ability to copy context data to your clipboard and also refresh individual elements. Having introduced this new context sidebar, we've also redesigned how the sidebar tabs are presented. Previously, things were getting quite cluttered as more tabs were added and the tabs would get quite squeezed. So they have a new look with icons that let you quickly switch between the different tabs that are available. We've added some more customizations to the Node-RED editor. You can customize the icon of any node in your flow picking from any of the icons you have available in the runtime. You can also choose what category a subflow node appears in, so they don't all get bundled in one subflow category in your palette, and you can actually provide some organization and structure to your subflows. Also within the editor, there's a new flow navigator widget down in the bottom right corner. This gives you a scaled down view of your workspace, and by dragging the box around, you can quickly navigate to any part of your flows. We've added a new built-in type to the typed input widget, which allows you to more readily access environment variables with the inject node, the change node, the switch node, and any other node that's updated to include this new type. The file out node now has an output, so you're able to wire it into the middle of a flow where you want a flow to take some action after the file has been written. The function node is now able to access its ID and name properties within its code, and we've added a complete reference to what's available in the function node to the documentation. We've also added a button that expands out the code editor to a larger window within the function node. We've added the ability to do JSON schema validation in the JSON node. If the message you pass the JSON node has a schema attached to it, it will validate the message and ensure it meets the schema. And finally, the Raspberry Pi specific nodes have been updated so they will appear when you run Node-RED on a non-Raspberry Pi. They won't be functional, but you will be able to view flows and edit flows on one device before pushing them to a Raspberry Pi to run properly. There are lots of other fixes and features scattered throughout the editor and runtime, all listed in the changelog. If you've got any questions or want to find out more, do come join us in Slack or the Node-RED discussion forum. Until next time.